So this is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 2, Number 4. So here we just want to use technology to graph our piecewise functions. Okay, so in number 2, I mean Chapter 2, Number 3, we just graphed the sketch here, right? Here was this, the sketch of our function f of x, right? Here is the sketch of our function defined right here, f of x, as x squared plus 2, where x is less than 1, less than or equal to 1, and x 2x plus 7, for x is greater than 1. Okay, so this was number 3 in chapter 2. So here we're going to graph it um, using our calculator. So to graph, we click here. Um, the y equals in the very top left, right? Um, if there's anything there, clear it away using the clear button. And then we want to enter in we want to enter open parentheses right here. Then we want to say x, the variable x here, squared, so caret up arrow here, squared, right? Plus two. So that is just our function right here, x squared plus two. And then we want to say close parentheses, and then to say for x is less than or equal to 1, um, we open a parentheses and say x, again, less than or equal to 1. So how do we write less than or equal to 1? Well, if you click on math right here, oops, sorry, if you click second and then math, right, you're going to get all of these. So number 6, if you go to, is less than or equal to. So x squared plus 2 for x is less than or equal to 1. Oops. Let me fix that. Delete that 8. Close the parentheses. Right? And then we're going to add in the function. So we're not going to have two lines like this. We're just going to add the two functions together. Using our calculator, we're going to add this function, 2x plus 7. So open parentheses, 2x plus 7 close the parentheses, and then open the parentheses and say x is greater than 1. So x, again, to get to greater than, we put second math to get to the test area. Greater than is number 3. Select it, push enter. Greater than 1. Okay? So we're going to graph this, right? So let's graph. Okay. Um, now, is that what we expected as output? Now, this looks really funny to me, but I think that's okay. Um, so if you get this, let's do the window zoom standard. Let's see what it looks like in standard. I think that was standard, right? Um, go ahead and change our window. So remember, our window here was from negative 5 to 7 on the x value. So I want to say x minimum is negative 5 x max, I'm going to say 7, right? And then y minimum, I'm just going to start at 0. And y max, I'm going to go up to 33. And each one, remember, I did them by 3s. So I'm going to just say everyone is by 3. So it's going to look, it should look just like the one I have here. Okay, so then I'm going to graph again. All right. Okay. So as you can see, um, we have the parabola here, right? And then we have this weird squiggly line, and then we have the straight line right here, okay? So that's our calculator's attempt to go ahead and see how there's a little skip, there's a jump right here, there's an open space. Um, our, our calculator didn't do that very well. Um, maybe if we zoom in, we'll be able to see it a little better. Let me zoom in and select this area to zoom to. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. So let me go back to, to the graph. Zoom in, number two. And I'm going to put the cursor right around here and click enter. So it's going to zoom into that area. Again, so you're going to see that So our parabola region goes here until x is 1. And then it jumps up to our line here. So this right here, it connects it. Okay, so you have to be careful when you're looking at the graph on your calculator. Sometimes it connects it, and that is wrong because we know that there is a space here, open space. Okay? So you can use your calculator as a tool 
Um, I'm going to zoom standard again so then you can just see what it looked like. But you're going to have to realize that the tool is not always exactly the same because it just is kind of approximating with our graphing calculator and it doesn't do a very good job of this open space, right? It kind of connects them. So that looks not so great. When we zoom in, it's a little better, but we still see that weird connection. And um, that's all you need to do for chapter two, number four. Okay, so that's this end CPM pre calculus chapter two, number four.